Uh, Javier, thank you for coming on to the program. Uh, legally, has it been proven that Martin Vizcarra was engaged in corrupt activities? The simple answer is no, Adnan. Thank you for having me anyway. He's been accused of during his time as governor of Moquegua, a city in the southern region of Peru between 2011 and 2014, he received bribes for the concessions for the building of a hospital and an irrigation project. The, nothing has been proven against him. There's no uh, accusation, formal accusation. The investigation is going on. And Mr. Vizcarra himself has instructed his lawyers uh, that he should be at the disposal of the um, prosecutors who are investigating the case. So nothing has been proven. In fact, two months ago to the day, uh, he was impeached for the first time and the impeachment didn't progress because some audios that were produced where he allegedly accepted uh, a dodgy contract for uh, the culture minister were not proven as real. So at the moment, nothing has been, he has not been accused of anything formally. He's not under house arrest. There's no an indictment for his arrest. And therefore, many people believe that the only president who has taken the fight against corruption seriously is being ousted because of the, what they believe are the uh, political ambitions of Manuel Merino, who's been sworn in as the uh, interim president. Now, you have to take into account that it's the first time that the people have been going out to the streets to protest in favor of an ousted president instead of protesting to have a president ousted for corruption, which is unusual these days because many, like at least five presidents in Peru are at the moment, apart from one who committed suicide a year and a half ago, Alan Garcia, are being investigated for alleged cases of corruption. So at the moment, there's no case, uh, or there's no formal accusations of corruption or bribes against former President Martin Vizcarra. Yeah, I know you can say five. I could say seven because some of them have served more than one term, right? Like Alan Garcia, who yes. eventually yes. died after trying to shoot himself in the head because of corruption allegations. What's That's wrong correct. with Peru if seven out of the eight former presidents have lost their jobs either because they were guilty of corruption or because there were allegations of corruption against them? What's wrong with Peru? Corruption is deeply rooted in Peruvian society, from the policeman who takes bribes not to give a ticket to a car, to ministers and presidents. It's rooted in, in the DNA of the political uh, establishment in Peru. That is the problem. When presidents get into power, they seem to believe that they have impunity to do whatever they want, which is the reason why all these presidents have been indicted. Um, so that is the problem. And the issue is that the only president, as I said to you, who actually took this fight seriously was President Vizcarra and in his uh, ruling and his government from... Um, 2018, when the, his predecessor lost his job because of alleged cases of corruption, he empowered the anti-corruption prosecutor's office to investigate more cases and more precedents. Therefore, there are some presiden former presidents who are under house arrest at the moment, which is the reason why many people believe that this is a revenge from members of parliament members of the Peruvian Congress who themselves are being accused of corruption and who want a cover-up of this situation. Uh, it remains to be seen whether the case against Mr. Vizcarra will prosper, but the fact of the matter is that corruption is, as I said at the beginning of this answer, uh, rooted in the DNA of the political uh, establishment in Peru. And, and Vizcarra, who was the only president who took it seriously, is out now, and we don't really know where all these cases are going to go at the moment. Javier, where does that leave the common man, common woman, in Peru, who uh, the only thing that they can do is either protest in the street or wait for an election and cast their ballot if the elite is just sharing power amongst itself for its own personal gain. Vizcarra may be That's different, as you're indicating, but the previous history of the past at least 30 years or so shows that the elite is not particularly worried about the common person and is more interested in having power, retaining power and making money. That's, that's how they perceive Congress. That's how they perceive Manuel Marino as a part of this elite that wants to present power. You have to understand something. In July 2021, when the new president is sworn in after the elections of April, many people fear this current president will cancel those elections. There's going to be uh, special celebrations in Peru, the 200 years since the declaration of independence in Peru. So many candidates want to be presidents to be part of that particular big celebration. The, going back to the common man, the common person, you have the coronavirus, which is going up by a mile. 
which means that the situation is very serious. The economy has slumped by 13%, according to the, to the IMF, the second biggest slump in Latin America after Venezuela. That means that the economy is going really, really badly at the moment. And they do not believe that Manuel Merino will be able to manage either a recovery of the economy or the fight against the pandemic. So the common man is totally uh, helpless about this. Uh, protests have been called. There are going to be new protests today. But many people fear that this would create a more sort of con more so infections because of the COVID-19. So the common men, as you call him, rightly so, are trapped in this situation where on the one hand you have the elites who do not seem to care very much about what happens to them. On the other hand, they're suffering the situation, the bad economic situation and the pandemic, which, which is making it things even worse. So that is, that's why you have people protesting in the street, because they believe that at least with Biscara, with all the mistakes he would have made, at least he was trying to do the best he could to fight the pandemic. But at the same time, he was trying to tackle the problem of corruption. Now, with him out of the picture, and with Marino being in power, perceived by many people as equally corrupted than other all the presidents, the situation is more and more unstable as we speak. Many MPs, by the way, have already resigned from their seats, from their parties, because they were against the impeachment vote. So the situation is very polarized. The Congress is very fragmented, and there is no plan to continue fighting not only the pandemic, but also trying to rebuild the economy, which is an extremely bad shape. 13 uh, percent slump, which is extremely serious in a country like Peru. The situation is very serious for the common person in the streets. Javier, thank you very much for the analysis about what's happening in your homeland. Javier Farge in London.